All right, guys, welcome back. So the first matchup we'll do, uh, we'll just do these in order. We're going to do Miami at Ohio State. And I hope, hopefully they uh, won't lock us into using specific uniforms. I'm going to play with Miami, but let me see. Um, okay, uniform change. Hit the Y button. So we have the preset. We have, so you can turn the man around. So here's the 2009 Pro Combat that we can use. Looks good. It has the uh, little uh, weave meshing on the shoulder pads and you have the home so let's see pro combat so you can still mix and match the uniforms we can wear the pro combat with the regular home jersey and we can decide we can use the pro combat pants with the regular home jersey uh, of course you got your socks black and white and then you have your shoes you got black and white get the black and team color and you have all oh, good so you can actually uh, Cool. This year you have all different, uh, kind of like in Madden last year, where you can choose different types of uh, shoes, multiple different types of shoes rather than just white and black. All right. So since we're playing at Ohio State, we'll just put them in their home jersey. Let's go over here to Miami. Cool. They have their pro combat, and since uh, this is the only uniform they can use for away games, I don't have many options here. Uh, I can change to just regular white Miami pants. Or the pro combat I'll keep it on pro combat let me see about these shoes though I may go with the white with the team color yeah black and white I nah, just go black and white all right so let's advance skill you can change the skill to varsity freshman I just keep it on varsity to start out with it's typically varsity is is the best uh, difficulty level for the ratings that they put in the game uh, anything above or below that it starts to kind of get into a, either a boost in ratings or a decline in ratings so they don't really play to the true uh, ratings that the, the game the EA has given them so we get the styles how to play with each style to maximize the effectiveness you short quick passes passing game to try to move the ball down and off his um, I didn't get three double Hello so let's see how the presentation is here. And beside me in the booth is Kirk Herbstreit. Aaron Andrews is also with us. She'll be reporting for the sidelines. Welcome to today's game, brought to you by EA Sports and ESPN. Our matchup is between the Miami Hurricanes and the Buckeyes of Ohio State. Tailgating fans, flying footballs, and the sounds of the marching band can only mean one thing. It's time for... Well, right away, you noticed that they talked about the lighting effects that uh, they put in this year's game very early on in, in the development, and you can see that right away. Uh, it may not really carry over too well on YouTube in the video. It's something you'll probably have to see for yourself. I mean, that was a, a stadium shot, but let's see how it looks when we actually start playing the game. But right now, the lighting does look good. Good shadow effects. I like that. I like the entrances. That, that kind of gives you a, a connection with the team. Cool. So a little bit of uh, warming up like they did in Madden last year. And that should keep the Hurricanes defense on its toes. Yep. For Ohio State, it won't be easy to rein in the quarterback. I'm real excited to see how he fares being pressured by a pretty fierce group of defensive linemen. And so far, I'm, I'm liking that uh, at least they have the, the jersey number right because I know there's been a lot of talk about what will EA do with the with the with the temp, with the jersey with the uh, rosters this year? Will they make them even more generic? having a completely different number, different, you know, skin tone player because of all the hype that uh, that lawsuit it got last year from that uh, player from Nebraska uh, saying that they were using their likeness. But uh, it looks like they're uh, keeping true to their formula. So let's see how this works out. Oh, yeah. The, yeah, you can definitely tell it. You can tell a big difference in the lighting, and it's, it even looks like it, it has a better frame rate. So, 
it looks like by default, it automatically gets me kind of like a uh, coach's type of playbook. Okay, that's a lot of stuff on the screen there. I mean, this almost looks like it's moving at 60 frames so far. All right. Uh oh. Nice. That's nice. That was nice. So, say, let me click in the right thumbstick for advanced. Okay, so there we go. So, if we want to call it by the formation, we can go that way. But let me try to just play a game like this. Because I haven't, I don't normally play like this. But for the sake of the recording of this video, it'll make it, you know, time go by a little quicker. So, I still have my slide protect. Let's see my coach's cam. Oh, Jacor is nervous. So we can see the the new replay system that they have. I mean, it's cool, but you know, me, I, I guess I'm I like to keep things traditional. I, I like the the regular broadcast style TV type of re replays. Uh, I don't need to have a close up in your face replay of the every every play that I do. I'd rather have one that looks more like an actual television broadcast. Let's see. So, uh, got a little jaw jacking going back and forth. All right, so let's stop for a second and see what types of options they give us in the demo, which I don't think will be very many, as you can see. Game controls, auto passing off, auto sprints off, okay, uh, auto strafe is on, play call basic. Okay, so this is it. Okay, basic or cool. Play our coaching tips. So you can see pre-play offense. Okay, we'll go back to this stuff later. Strategy got the depth chart. Okay. Formation subs. I know you guys seen that. So you know that's been a big issue uh, for gamers to to get put in the game. I was really hoping they would have the uh, the wide the wide view in the demo for us to play around with. Oh no. That's bad on my part. Let's see, it's third and five. This is, yeah, this is a good time to throw a screen pass. My control is vibrating a lot, so I guess my quarterback's uh, really rattled right now. Push cam, flip run. Let me flip it. Click the right thumbstick in. Oh shit, I guess I didn't do it right. Yeah. Another play action play. Ball on the 40. What is this? Coach tip number 31 protect ball. To avoid more fumbles, press the right bumper when running with the ball so your player will cover protect the ball. Do this just prior to getting tackled. Okay. Alright, pretty cool, Coach Tips. I, I don't know if that's attributed because I'm playing with the basic play call screen, but that's cool. Oh, woo, that was close. I forgot what play I called after reading the coach tip. I thought it was actual run play because it looked like one. Uh, let's do a flanker dive here. Nine seconds left in the first quarter. So the first thing I want to do, my uh, wide receiver is going to go in motion across to the close to the line, then it's over across the field. I don't know who I'm going to go to in this play. Back to 
That's the first. That's the first. That's the first. I would imagine probably in the retail version, the chain game will come out to measure that. End of the quarter. <laughs> 